All right, in order to figure out what power setting would work best with the vinyl, I did a test run. I did it here. I didn't have the speed or power etched onto it. I just kind of guessed based on the settings that I had on the machine, which row was what. And so then I did it a second time and I fine tuned it. So it only went to 20% and 90%. 6,000 was the maximum speed I said, and 600 was the slowest speed I said. And then what I did was I tested to see which one of these would be weeded the easiest. And so I found that this one was pretty easy to weed as well as just kind of going down this angle was the best way to figure out which one would weed the easiest. And I was also checking on the backside to see which one had the least amount of damage to come through on the clear plastic. So I was taking all that into account and which ones would pull off the easiest. As you can see down here, it started getting to a point where it would just burn right through. So then when I thought, okay, I'll try and see if I could use the laser engraver to weed out the vinyl itself. And I was able to get 5,000 and like 35% power and it weeded it out pretty well without damaging the plastic, but it left a residue on there. And so the 5,000, it did scratch off pretty easy without having damage to the clear plastic on the backside here, but I decided I'd just weed it naturally rather than doing it with the laser. I will do a test run at this, at this speed to see if I can weed it out and get rid of that residue and then iron it on a shirt and see if it actually works. I did stop doing the test early because it just started burning through every single time. So if I was going to fine tune this again, I would have it at a minimum of my minimum speed at 3,500 and then maximum power at 35. And then I would set a different parameter lower to test run it. So when I do that again, that's what I'll try out.